So what's up everybody welcome to another video today we are going to make this background color changer so we have a button here so whenever I will click this button we have a new background color so every time I will click it will generate a random background color and also here we can see the color code for the background color so that's it what we are going to make in this video hope you will like it so no more talk let's dive into it so today is the day 15 of our 30 days 30 summits challenge and for the day 15 we are going to make this background color changer. So if you are interested to check out this repo I will link it in the description where you can find all the submits that I did in this 30 days 30 summits challenge. Also we have an entire playlist here in our channel for 30 days 30 summits where you can check out all the submits so let's get back to the code here so in the html first of all let's create a boilerplate and here let's get a section in the section we will have a button where i will just say that change bg color something like that and after that i will have a h2 so that's it for our html for now and let's also link the style sheet here so in the style sheet first of all let's remove the unexpected gaps so padding will be 0 and margin will be 0 and also say that box sizing will be the border box. So as you can see that we don't have any kind of extra gap and this is our button here. So let's come to the section here and in the section let's say that height will be 100 VH and width will be 100%. And also let's say that display will be flex and align items center and justify content center which will make this button in the center as you can see here. And after that let's come to the button. So I style the button here I just can say that border will be none. So border none and outline also none. And also let's give it a background color. So I will use aquamarine for now. And we have it and also let's give it the color which is the black already and let's say that font size will be something like 24 pixel and also font family I want the Montserrat so Montserrat so I already installed this Montserrat font in my PC so I don't need to import it so the font is changed as you can see and also let's have a padding here 20 pixel yeah that's enough for now and finally we need a cursor pointer here so that's it for our button and after that here in the h2 let's say that color code as a placeholder so that's the color code as a placeholder we have here and in our section let's also say that flex direction will be the column so column so now it is in the column as you can see and what i need actually in this h2 the font family will be the Montserrat and also font size will be let's say that 24 pixel yeah and we need a margin top here so let's give it 30 pixel yeah that's fine for now so that's it for our layout so let's jump to the JS here so before that let's actually link the script here so main.js so in our javascript first of all let's select those elements so first of all say that constant for our button element button equals to document dot query selector and i wanna just select the button so i have only one button in my page that's why i just select it with the button tag so constant here and the second one is the h2 element means this h1 sorry this h2 that i wanna select here so for that i just can say that document dot query selector so i have only one h2 in my page also so just i can select it with the h2 tag so after that actually let's select the section here so i just can say that constant bg element so that's the element means the section where i will change the background color so document dot query selector and I can just select the section here so I just selected all the necessary elements so after that what I need actually I need to add a even listener in this button so whenever I will click in this button I wanna change the background color so for that let's say that button dot add even listener 
so I wanna add a click event so click event and here in this click event I wanna run this function so in this callback function first of all let's have a variable which is the color so for the initial state for our random color I will use a hash here because it will be a hexa color so we now just have a hash and after that we will generate a random number for our color code so in hex color code what we need to do actually after this hash we need six more number which will represent a color code so for those six number I will generate them randomly so for that what I can do actually I can create a constant something named like random where I will generate all the random number so to generate a random number in JavaScript what we have is math.random so random so if I give it something like that and console log the random variable that we have here so let me see so as you can see that when I will click we have this random number and it is totally random as you can see so we have this random number which limit is minimum 0 to the maximum 1 so we will have a number between 0 to 1 so after that what I need actually I need to convert this number into the hexadecimal because in our hexa code we actually use the hexadecimal so to convert this random number into a hexadecimal what I can do actually after the random I just can say that to a string and I just can pass the value which is the 16 for the hexadecimal so now if I come here and in the console log I should see the hexadecimal number so as you can see that that's a hexadecimal number because if you can see that we have B here F here and also the F here and whenever I will just click it will generate a random hexadecimal number because in the hexadecimal number what we have is we have 1 to 9 and after that A B C D E F okay so we will also have those things as you can see here so for the last thing what I need actually in this number I don't need 0 and this dot I need something like this portion means this 6 digit for our color code so let's actually grab those first 6 digit after the dot so here I just can say that dot slice and from the first two digit to the 8 digit so between these we have 6 digit which will have in our random variable so now if I just console log it as you can see that we have this six number so now whenever I will click as you can see that we have now this six random number so now we can push it into this color variable so I just can say that color equal plus equals to the random so now we will have the actual color code here so if I console log the color I should see the actual color code as you can see with the hash value so instead of this line 8 I just directly can say it in the line 7 so instead of constant I don't need any kind of constant I just can say that color color plus equal this random number so it will directly generate the random number and add it to the color and we are console logging the color so hopefully it will work so as you can say that it's working and final thing that I need actually I need to change the background color of this section so let's actually change this so in our bg element I just can say that style dot background color so background color not clip background color and the color will be the color variable so now it should change the color of our background as you can see that it's working perfectly fine so the last thing is I want to show the number of our color code in this text so for that I just can say that h2 element dot in our text will be this color so it should work so now as you can see that we have this number of our this background color in our h2 so every time it will generate a random number and we will have the color code here so that's it for this video i hope you like this one and if you do please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel i will see you in the next video till then bye bye kudahafis